hi beautiful and amazing people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is amita mitra and i am speaking right from kampala uganda east africa for those of you watching me for the very first time you're most welcome kindly be a part of this very beautiful humble and amazing family by subscribing to my channel and also make it a point to like this video and all other videos that you'll come across on this channel otherwise i hope you guys are doing great and i hope that god is protecting all of you so guys, in today's video, I am going to cook one of those delicacies from my village. For those of you who don't know, I come from Pakwach, that is the West Nile part of Uganda. Some of you call it the northern part of Uganda, but it's actually the West Nile part of Uganda. We are just next to the River Nile, and that is the sole reason as to why we eat a lot of fish. So in today's video, I want to cook for you this kind of fish. I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but this is what I am going to cook for you. This is called, in my language, it's called... Uh, Peduburu. <laughs> Peduburu, yes. Just correct me if I'm wrong, people from my end. So it's called Peduburu. It is actually tilapia, but this kind of tilapia is the one that they get and then they dry it, then they they salt it, then they, you know, do so many things about it. So if you can see the, this other side, it has the scales. Yeah, so this is tilapia. I'm going to cook it for you the home way the village way okay i hope you guys will enjoy this video <laughs> so guys what we are going to do is cut this fish into small pieces now this fish is very large as you can see but i can't cook it all so i'm going to cook this half of it and then i'll send this half to my mother so mommy if you're watching i'm sending you some fish because i know you love it as well yeah i want you to also test it so what we're going to first do is first uh Cut it into two pieces. Yep. So it is cut now. This is what we are going to cook. And this is what we are going to send the mother. Let me put this somewhere. So now we are going to chop this into small pieces. I will call you pioneer. This here that I feel so strong You discovered there's a hard hair Been empty for all oh so long So baby, come and furnish I've ever to my life refurbish I do lots of clutter, bumper burns So it works a never ending surface, yeah It's the way you call it, my one no end, no end. It's the way So guys, we are now done with cutting them into small pieces as you all can see. Now the next step is we're going to put them into warm water. Now the reason that's why we're putting them into warm water for some minutes is to help soften these scales because there is no way we are going to remove these so these scales as you can see they are very very hard they are so hard you just a knife can't just remove them so we need to first let them um, soak into water for a few minutes so that these things become softer for us to remove and then the other reason as why we're going to soak them is because this is salted fish like it has a lot of salt so putting them in water for a few minutes helps us reduce on the salt in the fish so that when we cook it it is not very very salty so that is what we are going to do in the next few minutes insecure faithful from skin and grow but i walk like a giant yes anointed a screen who's defiant now as the fish soaks let us light up our charcoal stove by the time it will be done, I think the fish will have soaked as well. Uh, I have my charcoal here. You can call the shots mongare fuwa bola. Nickname Mati Chitumbua, Coco Lassi, Kelo, you are my Coca Cola. Iwe waliwa vita meni, Quati Gorgisi Puro, Pronto Menta meni. Natural bleach, no skin. Baby girl, you will win. It's so, so, next we are going to cut the onions and the tomatoes, okay? Burp. 
bash Under lots of clutter bumper burns So it works a never ending surface Yeah It's the way you call it my multi-moon No end, no end It's the way you call it my multi-moon No end, no end From the crown on my head to the soles on my shoe Got my love for you is pure Landlord, I live with them on sure So be comfy and secure Faithy, full form I'm a skinny girl but I walk like a giant Yes, anointed as queen who's defiant And I chill on the mountain of Zion How is it you can take my power? How is it you can bring me to silence? Ninkala ningo sekelela kwati nili neka in the battle with the violence. We've washed the the fish. The scales are now off, as you can see. It's now very very smooth, very very smooth. So now it's time to cook. <laughs> Finally, our charcoal stove has lit. Now we're gonna put this on top. So now I've added the water and now it's time for me to add the fish. Now, uh, if you want, you can just go ahead and fry it. Yeah, some people love it fried. But as for me, I'm going to paste it. So I'm cooking it in a way that I can easily paste it. So I'm just going to boil it first and then paste it for you guys. Yep, you can go ahead and, and, and fry it. So many people do fry it, but today I'm not in the mood for frying. Let us let it boil for a few minutes and then I'll get back to you guys. Let's check on our sauce. Yep, it's boiling. So guess what guys, I'm going to drop the onions and the tomatoes right about now. So... Let's drop the onions and tomatoes. Okay. As the sauce boils, the next thing we're going to do is add some peanut butter here. This is peanut butter. We're going to put some here. And add it to the sauce. Okay, I think this is enough. So what you're going to do, we're going to mix it with some sauce soup. Let me show you guys. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to get some soup from this. And then add it to the peanut butter. Get more. Add it to the peanut butter. With the violin, Miss Ozzy's own say what all. You can call the shots, Mongare Fua Bola. Hey, nickname Mati Chitumbua. Coco Lassi, Kelo, you are my Coca Cola. Iwe Waliwa. So, guys, this is how it looks like after stirring. Just try to make sure that the bigger lumps are dissolved. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pour this whole mixture into our sauce that is boiling. So, here we go. Guys, by the look of things, I think our sauce is ready. It is ready, ready. So 
so guys the water is ready for the food it's time to mingle it's time to mingle the push the this is cassava flour mixed with sorghum okay so i'm going to mingle immediately So guys, now I think we are done. We are done with the food. I'm just going to transfer it to the plate now. So guys, finally my food is ready. I have decided to sprinkle some little flour on top of this cassava flour because it was sticking. You guys know cassava flour sticks. So if it doesn't have the flour, it sticks, you see? It sticks. But then I had to sprinkle some little on top. That is why it looks whitish. But uh, I'm about to, to eat. This is my sauce. The aroma alone, you guys, can blow you away. It is so mm, it smells so nice and I'm, I'm i'm very sure it's going to taste so nice so you guys should have been here and tested this with me as for mommy i hope i've made you proud my mother kindly comment down below and tell me if i've made you proud lol <laughs> mommy please comment <laughs> so guys let's eat this together <laughs> it's time to eat <laughs> let's eat You have to use your hands because if you use a fork or a spoon, it won't be as nice. So this is what you do. Hmm. So nice. You guys, eh? this was a meal. This is how you eat this food. Eh? It was so delicious. I know you guys know it was delicious by how I've eaten this meal. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm done, like completely done with my my food and my sauce. Otherwise, thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. Uh, comment down below and tell me if I did it well or if there is something that I didn't do right kindly comment down below and also tell me but as far as I know this is how this whole meal is supposed to be cooked thank you so much for watching may God bless you and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video <laughs>